Welcome to Frida Whisper. This is our story about how we left hectic business careers to go sailing with Frida Whisper and our cat Litsa. In the last episode, we uh, had a lovely sail. Um, it's fantastic weather to Lunesham in the southern end of Stockholm archipelago. We also talked about Anders' time in the Swedish national sailing sea. Hello, welcome to this fifth episode in uh, the first season, uh, our Baltic season. In this episode, we will sail from Nynäsham to Uta, uh, where we will try to find a spot at Ångbåtsbryggan, uh, where the old steam ferry usually um, laid. But uh, that was completely full, so we had to go around the island and see if we could find another spot. Uh, so we tried to anchor but it didn't turn out quite the way we wanted. And now we are leaving Unisam after a good night's sleep and now it's nice and sunny again although it started to rain about an hour after we arrived and it stopped raining about one and a half hour ago so. Maria Hortmela? Ja. Det var 330, så det är någon olycka med Ja. Typ. Vad blir det? Och där har vi... Den här jarden. Vi låg efter innan.
where the ferry is now. So where we are supposed to go in. speed the um, movie up while we wait for a ferry but watch out for them because they're quite fast but not this fast. We went around to the other side uh, of the island, but it was very full there as well. I don't think we even could have got a dinghy in. Um, and that is a common problem in uh, Stockholm Archipelago, though, that the popular harbors and anchor places can be full. Jag tyckte det såg att det skulle vara 6-7 meter när jag tittade. We saw this uh, little uh, bay or lagoon where we saw a boat slip in and we could see some masts. So we uh, carefully followed after to see if uh, there was a dock or, or if it was possible to anchor, which it was. This bay at Uta is called the Church Bay and uh, it would be a good anchorage. There is even a few buoys from Svenska Kusakruben, but they were taken when we arrived. I'm really sorry that I didn't get to see Uta, but I do have some facts for you. Uta is placed in the southern end of the Stockholm and the name dates back to the 13th century, and it aims at the island towards the sea. Uh, it uh, has a lot of iron, so there is mining has been mining uh, since the island was colonized about 500 years ago. On our way out of Utah, there is some goats on the cliffs. From this side it looks like they're running free. They probably have a fence on the other side. Yeah. Or this island is only for them. Yeah. And there was no place for us here either. Try to anchor, but 
that didn't work so well because our um, Windless. Windless. Yeah. Uh, it's the first time we use it and, and we probably have done something wrong, but we don't know what. So yeah. we need to go home and read about it. Or it has some kind of electric failure because it worked and then it didn't. So. Regarding the goats, they are actually there to keep the landscape open. But now on our way back, there's coming in some dark, dark clouds. We did get some wind, but managed to go around most of the day. Got some strange weather on the way back to the sound. First, we had some really, really dark clouds that gave us quite a lot of wind. And then the wind died and it started to rain. And uh, then it stopped raining and the sun came up again. And uh, we can see you this how. Approaching Nina Sam for the second again for the second time. Yeah. <laughs> so our short trip to Ute turned out to be a trip to Ute to one harbor, then to the next harbor, and then to an anchorage and back again. Over there is the first rocky we looked at. And over there is a bar 60 that we also looked at. But our boat has moored over here. And it's a bulky 47 pilot salon. Just as the first boat. Look that. We went over to the other Waukee to say hi uh, and to take some pictures of a very smart uh, ladder in a bow that we knew it had. The next morning they showed up to say hi to us and we exchanged our contacts. Thanks for the documentation, by the way. So it's a very big harbor. Deep, except for a few places where there are stones. Close to the city, you can just go up there by the church and, and you are in the city center. And this is restaurants in the evening. Backyard <laughs> and the bakery. What am I like near? Oh, you have a swag and two. What are you doing? Let's go to Google. Hey, Google. Om inte vi kommer till, kan komma till Spanien så får väl det här duga. Spanien kommer till oss. Spanien kommer till oss, ja. Ja, vi har kalamaras, potata, vitlöksgambas, tomatsallad med getos och chorizo. Riktigt gott och riktigt mysigt. Mycket bra. Och utsikten kan vi inte klaga på. Här sitter vi och har det rönt. Vänta, förlåt mig efter tappas. Inte en smula över det här projektet. Solen värmar. Mm.
Är du nöjd med livet? Helt perfekt. God Tack. mat. Fin utsikt. Och indikar på tv. Nu är Anders nöjd. Vi är så nöjd med nöjda. Vi är just sitting outside and eating dinner. It was nice. And then from nowhere it starts to rain. We have to rush inside. But I think Anders is quite happy with being closer to the TV. And after the rain, we saw a beautiful double rainbow. Wonder if there's a double treasure as well. If you like this episode, please give us a thumbs up and subscribe down below. And don't forget to hit the little bell button to get notified when I release the next video. In the next episode, we will sail from uh, Unisham to the notorious Sandham which is one of the big party places in uh, the Stockholm Archipelago. Okay. We will not be in the harbor of Sandham, we will be on the next island next to it, called Telegafhamn, that is uh, famous for its uh, sailing camps.